Good afternoon or morning, everybody, and welcome back to another weather forecast here by Age Witch Weather Forecast. This is going to be another severe weather video here, and actually, this is going to be now a potential for some really strong severe weather bands and potential very strong tornadoes and large hail once again out here in the south central again this won't be a multi-day threat again this is just going to be a really smaller threat again we still have up to an enhanced risk here a level three that was updated again yesterday we had a level two but again we're still going to be seeing a very large hail large tornadoes as well and also damaging winds are expected out here in oklahoma uh, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas, and then we're seeing a widespread threat with scattered thunderstorms all the way up to Illinois, Missouri, and Kansas, and even all as far east as the Tennessee and Mississippi area. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, guys. Really means a lot when you guys support my channel. Again, uh, we've been getting a ton of supporters in the past couple of days, and it really means a lot. Let's try to get to uh, 2,170 by the end of today. We are so very close. We are two subscribers away. Also, be sure to, again, share the channel to any friends or family that you think will love my daily weather forecast to help me grow a lot more. And do also, be sure to share the video to anybody that you think will be in the uh, severe weather threat today and maybe even tomorrow. But without further ado, let's get in this video. So this is my outlook here for who will be seeing the worst, uh, the threat, the worst threat today, and who has the highest chance for large tornadoes, damaging winds, and again large hail. Again, this is not the SPC outlook, and again we're gonna be looking at the SPC outlook today. But again, as you can tell, we are gonna be again seeing the layers. As we can tell, the worst layer is the red today. I don't necessarily think it's gonna be as bad as yesterday. We necessarily need a pink for this huge. Risk again, the highest risk for today will be in the red. And again, that's where we have areas where we're using the best chance for very large tornadoes, very large uh, hail as well, possibly maybe uh, two to three inch sized hail in diameter, maybe even large, uh, maybe even bigger, depending on these uh, supercells. And also, of course, the damaging straight line winds. Definitely be seeing a lot of debris. So, again, that's going to be in the red. That's where we have that best chance for today. That's going to be the, for the areas near Texarkana. That's going to be for southeastern Oklahoma. You guys were in the really high threat as well yesterday. Uh, for those areas in southeastern Oklahoma, you guys were in my red. Uh, in my map yesterday, you guys were also in the red. So, definitely not something we want to see once again two days in a row in the exact same areas. Uh, Texarkana, of course, again just west of Little Rock for much of western Arkansas, we will be seeing also a very big chance for very large tornadoes. As well, Little Rock, you guys are actually in a very high chance as well. You guys are in the orange, and that's the second worst layer as of uh, today, Shreveport. You guys are right on that border with red and orange, so definitely need to watch out for Shreveport. Be on the lookout. Tyler, Texas, you guys, again, you guys are also going to be seeing a decent chance for very large tornadoes, possibly more of a hail threat today, but again, the tornado threat, the highest will be, again, where we have the areas near uh, moving to uh, Interstate 30 or Highway 30 and then also near Highway 40 as well. You definitely need to watch out there in Oklahoma as well or in uh, Oklahoma and Arkansas. And then we'll be seeing those scattered threats as well all the way up to the Missouri area, parts of Kansas, even western Mississippi. You guys in the yellow, you guys may be seeing some scattered threats, but they could be very powerful. But the threat for those powerful bands causing tornadoes and hails a bit uh, on the on the, uh, lower side. And as well in the green, you guys are just going to be seeing scattered thunderstorms and very low threat for uh, damaging winds and uh, seeing a lot of debris and all that. But still, just have your device on you just in case. But now let's get into the models. So again, this is today's outlook. As you can, as you can tell, my map is somewhat again similar, except the colors, of course, where we have that red is obviously going to be the highest risk and the enhanced risk. But again, here is our area to watch out for. Again, this is definitely where we're going to be seeing the best chance for uh, again, the, of course, tornadoes, hail, and damaging wind. I really think again we're, we should extend this marginal, to maybe even slight risk a lot more to Missouri. And Kansas, and you're about to see why. Because we're about to look at the detailed radar. We're definitely going to be seeing these powerful bands actually starting off in Kansas, and then seeing these more bands developing here in Oklahoma and Texas, moving eastward towards Louisiana and Arkansas. But again, right here, our highest risk for today is an enhanced risk. Again, uh, so this is once again where we have a level three out of five. And if you know anybody in this uh, little inside this little shaded area, please tell them to definitely be on the lookout for later today in the afternoon. We're definitely going to be seeing very very powerful uh, uh, linear bands moving eastward at very fast pace. So definitely be seeing uh, this threat not being too far whatsoever. So again, definitely in northeastern Texas, northwestern Louisiana, much of western Arkansas, and southeastern Oklahoma. Right there is our area of focus. And then we have another area of focus right here. This will uh, be seeing a bit of a less, uh, a little bit of a minor threat. First seeing tornadoes, uh, large hail, and... um. And damaging winds, but again, we still have a threat. Again, we still can't uh, rule that out just because you're not enhanced risk. And then 
the marginal should be extended a bit more into Kansas. And then, of course, if you're in the marginal, uh, you're going to be seeing a, a bit of a less of a threat. You're going to be just seeing scattered thunderstorms really shouldn't be exactly too severe. But, of course, you can still be seeing a really strong wind at some points in some of these bands. But very unlikely actually cause very large hail, maybe pea-sized hail, uh, really maximum, really. Uh, my Actually, my city saw a uh, quarter-sized hail. Uh, that was actually very surprising because it was just that one little area in northeastern Georgia that saw hail. And the rest of the hail reports were in southern Georgia, like, uh 200 300 miles away maybe even 400 miles away so that was really crazy and again so i was in actually in the uh marginal to a just general risk and i saw a quarter size tail so still need to watch out if you are in that marginal just in case again tornado threat is actually quite high as well it's 10 percent uh risk uh right here so that is actually quite high i know that says a 10 percent chance but a 10 percent chance for tornado risk really is equivalent to 30 to 40 percent because it's really hard to guarantee a tornado to happen in the first place and the exact location so again it's very uh really good chance for again uh much of now southwestern uh, arkansas so it's going to be minimized this tornado risk the highest as you can tell some of these areas that are in the enhanced risk for uh much of western arkansas and a bit more into southwestern uh oklahoma we saw a enhanced risk but some of those areas we have a five percent chance all depending on exactly how high that risk is as in touch minimized now to uh closer areas like shreveport texarkana uh closer to el dorado and of course southwestern oklahoma so if you're in that yellow or know anybody there you guys really want to be on the lookout or uh, of course tell them to be on the lookout have a plan uh, to seek shelter in case of a tornado so again definitely going to be seeing some quite the strong bands but again Still, exactly can't say we're going to have, I uh, can't guarantee we're going to be seeing tornadoes in those areas, of course. That's going to be uh, uh, kind of hard to say, but again, it's just very likely. So again, uh, also share the channel again to anybody that you know in that yellow. Now the hail threat again, this is going to be uh, kind of minimized a bit more, but it's actually going to be extending a bit more into Arkansas. As you can tell, we have a 30% chance for this, uh, we have a 30% chance for this hail again, it's going to be, uh, quite the big threat like i said earlier in the video this hit this wind threat was going to be very widespread no matter what so even if you're in that five percent chance for winds you're still going to be seeing quite the strong winds uh not just winds but wind gusts at some points when these uh bands do move in the area so again you're obviously going to be seeing some uh strong winds no matter what so because these strong bands will be uh, bringing quite the powerful winds and we'll be seeing uh, these westerly winds as well to bring that straight line of winds so again if you're in that red again you have the highest risk for winds uh sorry highest risk for hail i don't know why i was talking about winds highest threat for hail again possibly going to be seeing two to three inch sized hail in some of these areas maybe even larger but again can exactly say it's going to be bigger than three inch sized hail uh but again very likely either way to see very large hail and even in the yellow of course we can be seeing uh, maybe pea sized hail maybe even quarter sized hail maximum really shouldn't be expecting more than an inch in the yellow uh, and then for the wind threat, again, 30% chance. It's going to be extending a bit eastward now. It's going to be, uh, we're going to be seeing less of a wind threat for Texas. Oh, will see that for the Texarkana area. But again, it's going to be a bit uh, moving now closer to Little Rock. It's closer to that 30% chance there. And it's going to be more of a, this wind threat is going to be more of a uh, Louisiana and Arkansas threat. Now we're going to be looking at the Nanthry Cam model. And this is why uh, you're going to be seeing why I think we should be seeing this uh slight risk be extended a bit more this is why you saw my yellow all the way up in central missouri and areas near uh much of uh, northeastern kansas you're about to see why again here in the next couple of hours again you're starting to see these uh bands right here developing throughout the ozarks and central plains nothing really major really here we have this uh, low pressure system here at 1004 millibars we are seeing very heavy rain scattered thunderstorms moving to the central nebraska area and north central kansas you're about to see this low pressure system now uh, get a bit closer to these bands and this is going to be seeing very powerful bands now for southeastern kansas again these are very powerful bands and this is exactly why we should be seeing this uh slight risk moving in these areas again very powerful bands as well in the missouri area definitely uh, likely to cause possibly pea side tail definitely gonna be seeing very strong winds and this is not it yet it's not over we'll be seeing even more bands developing here uh into missouri maybe even illinois so definitely going to be seeing quite a big threat i think they are under uh underrating it um or underestimating it for kansas and then by later today of course you see the worst of it now developing out here into the south central this is where we see the really high risk again you're seeing these very strong bands developing just south of this whole site area 
I'm going to be seeing the slow pressure system now on 999 millibars, and it's going to be strengthening right over these bands. So definitely going to be seeing these strengthening a lot more. And we're going to be seeing a lot of moisture as well in the Gulf. So we're going to be seeing even more bands popping up now a bit more to the south near Texas. And then we'll see another low pressure system again, 999 millibars. And here, here we have these very powerful, again, uh, straight linear lines here. Even some smaller bands near the Texarkana area could be quite powerful. Again, I'm going to bring in uh, a pretty large uh, hail. Uh, and then we're going to be seeing, again, another low pressure system, again, not far from the College Station area. Going to be bringing very powerful bands once again. Starting to see these bands develop, uh, arriving here later in the afternoon and evening hours. Um, and that's going to be moving into the uh, Louisiana area near Shreveport and moving into the southern... Uh, Arkansas area and here we have this very powerful band here. This is going to be the big wind maker, the big hail maker and possibly going to bring in some tornadoes if we see hooks and then this is going to go straight over Little Rock and then again still seeing that threat for the Louisiana and Arkansas border there and then this threat does minimize as it does move push into uh, Mississippi again still going to be expecting quite a maybe a marginal risk and now bringing very heavy rain. Uh, for the uh, for the te uh, Tennessee area and Georgia area, we only have a marginal risk for tomorrow in these areas, so not expecting a huge major threat. This should be the last tornado outbreak, or not tornado outbreak. This should be the last severe weather, um, st or severe weather day, or severe weather outbreak. Uh, this won't necessarily be an outbreak. This is just going to be uh, severe weather, more severe weather on the way uh, until really next week. Again, we have a, a, a potential. Uh, severe weather outbreak next week and I'll be talking about that later today uh, hopefully again now we'll be looking at the uh, enanthrocan model here on the GF on the European again later today we're going to start seeing these bands developing here in Kansas and seeing some smaller bands into Missouri nothing major really until we get later on today with overday heating seeing really strong bands but quite small but we're going to be seeing multiple into the St. Louis area so if you're in St. Louis going to be expecting on and off Rain showers could be quite heavy, rain at some point, so just going to maybe uh, not go outside even though you shouldn't be outside at all. And then going to be seeing these very strong bands again developing here in Texas. That's going to be heading towards Texarkana, moving into the Louisiana area. And then we have this very powerful band in the first place that's going to bring in, uh, again, that really big threat for Little Rock and Arkansas. And then, of course, we have that very strong severe weather still out here for Kansas City. So Kansas City, you guys have a couple of hours until really going to start seeing that really heavy rain and then you're going to be seeing some thunder on and off in these storms and then possibly seeing some, maybe some uh, little severe weather bands moving towards Illinois. That could be that could bring some rain later on into um, Chicago. You're going to be seeing that rain later tonight into Nashville. And then it should be more of an Ohio River little rainstorm or rain showers in the Ohio River and could bring in maybe some smaller bands into northern Georgia later today. Or sorry, later tomorrow. Now we're going to be looking at to, uh, yesterday's tornado uh, or uh, severe weather report. So again, we saw only 11 tornado reports, but again, we saw them in actually two states. Georgia and Florida are the ones that got these tornado reports. Uh, again, of course, Georgia got hit the hardest. We, ha we saw four tornadoes in one county. That was Colquitt County. That was absolutely, again, just, uh, just a tremendous uh, amount of storms and powerful bands. Again, really, Colquitt, Co Colquitt County got hit really hard. Not once, not twice, not three times, but four times. So really, that whole county... Uh, could have been these tornadoes did not go in the exact same area. So definitely that county definitely has to do a lot of recovering to do um, Again, we saw 11 yesterday. We saw 28 uh, the day before uh, Again, we saw also Sunnyside. Uh, we saw uh, We saw Pierce County as well. And then we saw these 22 tornadoes in Florida later uh, in Ecaloosa County near uh, Mary uh, Easter and then uh, Gil, Gilchrist, I don't know if that's how you say it, Gilchrist County in Florida as well. Again, we saw one of the Western Panhandle near Pensacola. That was expected to see a tornado there in the Western Panhandle. That, that was expected. And then we saw one near the Gainesville, Georgia, uh, Gain, Gainesville, Florida area. We saw 18 hail reports. Again, this is what I was talking about, how we saw those hail reports in the middle of Georgia, like, in the, like just completely outside of the severe weather. And it's kind of kind of really weird to see it actually in my area because usually I haven't seen hail uh, quite a while when it comes to severe weather really uh, it's been a long time and my long time means like a year because I'm used to seeing severe weather like 18 times uh, 18 times like every two months or something like that so again really weird that it was like right over my city that I saw hair reports again that was uh, like way outside of this uh, way outside of this um, 
major severe weather bands and they were actually really small bands i actually got video of it and I, i'm actually really surprised we got hail and again of course we saw hail out here into the uh, georgia areas uh, again we saw them for Burnley county that's for southern georgia we saw them for hall county georgia again that is my county we saw quarter size hail uh off lights and near lake lanier of course lake lanier and then we saw multiple again for more for hall county there for oakwood georgia uh near candler hall caught quarter size uh, bronco lane near gillsville highway i actually don't know where that is uh but yeah as i think i definitely got a ton of hail in my area now we're gonna be looking at the cape values again we're gonna be seeing a bit of energy still left to here in texas mainly gonna be seeing that energy north of college station to see a whole bunch of stream uh, that's gonna be spilling out a whole uh months of uh cape values here so we're gonna be seeing quite the high numbers we'll be seeing some four thousands here definitely be seeing a good amount of energy to produce against uh storms and this is why we are seeing these um these storms developing in the middle of eastern texas when the storm, the main storms are Kansas and Oklahoma because of all this energy here and the overday heating. We're be seeing some 80s here. And we're be seeing the 4,000s, uh, close to 5,000s. College Station now at 3,700 joules per kilogram. Here we're be seeing up to five, close to 5,000 joules per kilogram, which is actually a ton of energy. And that energy is going to be stretching all the way again into the western Oklahoma area. We'll be seeing maybe some 3,000s and higher numbers will be and around the mid 3,000s in Oklahoma there. Uh, so seeing that energy and that will be moving a bit eastward but it will die down as you get into the overnight hours i hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will have another video out again i'm i i am aware of invest 90e uh to become possibly a tropical depression in the pacific but again i will be posting about that but it does not seem to hit any land or it's not even close to any land uh so i i'm not going to be really doing anything on invest 90e unless it it's uh, uh really possibly going to hit any uh, gonna make landfall anywhere like a Hawaii or anything that's very unlikely it's gonna be even not it's probably not even gonna become a tropical depression based on what models are showing only two models show that so again I'm aware of that just in case no uh, people you guys don't know that and again my next video might be on the potential risk for seeing severe weather tomorrow I'm gonna be making a, uh, a, a forecast uh, I'm gonna be making my maps right after this uh, so you guys can see because it's too far again for the SBC really to actually have your general risk and all of that so hope you guys enjoyed the video and bye guys.